Hi everyone. It is nice to have you here again on this channel. Many people who wish to journey through the sea are denied the privilege due to lack of money to own a yacht. Only few billionaires and those are financially buoyant could afford owning a super yacht. These people whose riches are capable of owning a yacht would have estimated its cost before purchasing. So in this video, join me as we analyze carefully the cost of running not an ordinary yacht, but a super yacht. Make sure to subscribe to our channel before the end of this video and hit the bell icon to turn on notification so that you won't miss any of our videos. What does it cost to run a super yacht? It is no secret that super yachts are well expensive. The world's largest private vessel, Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan Zazm, reaches an astounding 180 meters, which is equivalent to 590 feet and cost $600 million to build. In 2013, 355 super yachts were sold, totaling $3.4 billion. 10% of yacht purchases are paid in full immediately, and owners typically own their vessels for no more than three years before flipping them. However, price and length are not the only features worth bragging about. Many come fully equipped with bomb-proof windows, motion sensors, biometric fingerprint entry and escape pods. Venus, owned by Steve Jobs' family, has a large pane of special glass around the side to resemble an Apple store. The Eclipse, owned by Russian businessman and Chelsea football club owner, Roman Abramovich, boasts two swimming pools and two helicopter pads, and three-man leisure, and while a super yacht alone can cost tens or sometimes, as in the case of the ASM hundreds of millions of dollars. According to Towergate Insurance, the annual upkeep costs can also reach into seven figures. So what does it cost to run this expensive vessel? The biggest expenses on the yacht are gas prices, general maintenance, taxes, and crew salary. But the biggest single expense is without a doubt, the crew. And if you really want to enjoy your yacht to the full, you will make sure you get the best crew members that you possibly can. A typical 100-feet yacht will probably run with a crew of five. The average wage for a good qualified captain of a super yacht is $9,804 per month. Although you may decide to pay more for a captain that you feel will add value to your time on board or for a captain who has less experience and wants to move up in his career. Another essential crew member is a first mate, preferably one with engineering qualifications. That is if the captain does not possess them. The first mate will see to the maintenance of the yacht and take a particular interest in the machinery on board. He is also saddled with the responsibility of keeping the exterior of the yacht clean especially when the deckhand is otherwise occupied. The average wage for a first mate with engineering experience is $5,200 per month. As the exterior maintenance are to be catered for by the first mate or a deckhand, likewise the interior of this luxurious yacht are expected to be kept in the immaculate condition, and when the owner and his guests are on board, the level of hospitality has to be higher than 7 tar standard. This is considerably a responsibility that falls on the shoulder of the chief stewardess. It is a huge advantage if she also has the ability of a chef and should be well recommenced, since she will be cooking for the crew as well as the guests. These three crew members will most likely be on a year-long contract, working incredibly hard when the yacht is in use, but with the possibility of extended vacations. When the yacht's not being used during cruising seasons like in the middle of May to the middle of September or more or less it is quite likely that the owner will take on another two crew members. Usually a young lad, but increasingly often girls to this role is the one saddled with the duties of keeping the exterior of the yacht clean, helping the guests and obeying anything the captain asks them to do that will help with the smooth running of the yacht. Deckhand is an entry position for many yawning to get into the yachting industry. The average wage for a deckhand is $2,957 per month. Stewardess usually but not always is a position for a younger lady. This job involves keeping the interior of the yacht immaculately clean, serving food and drinks to guests, assisting with shopping. This position involves a genuine hardworking person. The average wage is $3,671 per month. Considering the captain's wage, first mate, deckhand, chief stewardess, stewardess, the annual salary of the crew member of a stand, another substantial cost during the year of a yacht is the berth. The monthly berth costs from the 1st of May to the 1st of October are $3,690 per month, including bot but excluding and water. The yearly berth cost around $35,000. For the insurance of the yacht, a privately used yacht with the value of over $10 million built in 2016 will cost about $42,500 per year. To ensure this would cover whole machinery, PNI, crew medical. It is clearly a comprehensive policy. 
insurance can be between 0.5% and 0.7% of the value of the yacht. So in order to keep this all in dollar figures, insurance of a yacht will cost roughly $50,000 per year. Another significant cost is the service. You may actually think that servicing the engines and the generators of a 100-foot yacht are big-ticket items. According to a reliable source, the price for servicing an engine once in a year varying from 5 to 7,000 euro, and the generators are serviced as you are looking forward to purchase your yacht, there are many other items to consider. Like crew uniforms, cleaning and supplies of equipment. Also, pumps, water maker, filters, are need to be replaced, repaired or serviced from time to time. The yacht has to be lifted once in a year, and the bottom of it must be painted. All these are really expensive winter work, period. So if you are looking forward at buying a yacht worth $10 million, you should as well be aware of the expenses and be ready to afford it. If you add together crew wages, fuel costs, berth, insurance and service costs, it is fair to say you should budget around $500,000. I hope you find this video informative and educating. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down below to express your support in what we are doing. Add your comments if you have any suggestion on running cost of a super yacht. See you in the next video.